Welcome to Text A&M Energy Resource Society Spotlight Series. In this interview series, we talk with the affiliated faculty from Text A&M Energy Institute to highlight multidisciplinary energy research conducted on campus. Welcome to the Texas A&M Energy Research Society Spotlight Series. Today we are interviewing Dr. Farouk Hassan, who is from the Chemical Engineering Department. Let's welcome Dr. Hassan. Thank you, Kevin, for the opportunity to talk. So we have our first question. Process intensification uh, is a systematic method uh, to um, uh, make drastic improvement in chemical processes. Many chemical processes are energy intensive. If we can reduce a significant amount of the energy that we use in a chemical process, that will be an intensification. If we can reduce the footprint of a chemical process, the size of a chemical process by half, that will be a drastic improvement, then we say it, it's an intensification. If we can reduce the investment cost of an emerging technology or a new technology uh, by uh, more than half, it's a drastic improvement, so it's an intensification. Uh, the question here is that, how do we do it in a systematic method? That's where chemical engineers can contribute. Uh, especially in our group, uh, PhD students, uh, Emre Demerel and Jiang Ping Li, they are working on developing a systematic method for process design, integration and intensification in a single framework so that whenever uh, there is a new challenge in chemical process, design challenge, integration challenge and intensification challenge, we can address them in a systematic manner. There are many problems uh, in chemical engineering and many other disciplines uh, which are complex uh, in a sense that we have to deal with uh, different length scales and also time scales. Uh, to give an example, we work in our group on CO2 capture, utilization and storage. Now, uh, a material scientist can make an impact in this area by developing a new material at a uh, nanoscale. We can make impact developing new processes at meter scale and also developing new supply chain at hundreds of kilometer scales. Also, the emissions change with time. So uh, we have to also consider the change uh, over time as a temporal scale. To solve a complex problem like this, we have to consider a different length and time scales together. That's why we call it multi-scale. Uh, in optimization, we try to find the optimal solutions by considering all the trade-offs and the interactions between different limitations, rules, regulations and constraints so that we find the, not only the optimal solution but a realistic solution which can be implemented. That's why uh, we can address real-world problems. There are many real-world challenges that we need to address, grand challenges. So I think uh, from process systems engineering perspective and optimization community, uh, we can make a significant impact and uh, we are making significant significant impact as a community uh, for, for decades. First of all, I'd like to congratulate the officers and organizers uh, of ERS and uh, the organizers of the conference. It was uh, phenomenal and uh, it was a vision realized, uh, uh, the vision of our late professor Chris Flutes. And uh, for the next conference, uh, you have set a standard and we'd uh, be happy to, to see more participants from industry and uh, panel discussions and uh, continue the discussion on energy, the uh, different facets of energy that we uh, work on at Texas a Now, Dr. Hassan has kindly gave us all the answers. Now he has a question for us. We have different energy sources, fossil fuels, cheap but emit greenhouse gases. We have renewables, clean but expensive. The challenge is how to make fossil fuels clean, renewables cheap and bridge the gap. <laughs>